Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we continue our series on bowed roller failure modes by looking at when and why and how a drive might be helpful, as well as why a poorly tuned drive could make things worse. Last year, I gave a half hour paper on traction as it affects the many spreader types and even more spreading modes. The basic idea comes from a life-saving practice that all race car drivers and motorcycle riders, and in fact every driver should know and practice to the point of being subconscious. That is, you brake before entering a corner, and when in the corner, your hand or foot is on the gas just enough to counter drag and thus maintain speed. More gas or more brake from this one special setting robs the, from the total available traction and that leaves just that much less for the number one task of cornering, that is, cornering. Perhaps the most important, as well as the least understood by the general practitioner, is to whether to drive a bowed roller and how to manage the drive setting if you do drive it. Here I will give an abbreviated discussion of the why of drives. The details of the how were given in our Web 101 class. The first case is when a combination of light webs and light wrap angles and low traction are coupled with a high bowed roller drag coming from the sum of bearing drag and cover hysteresis. Here, the bowed roller will break loose everywhere across its width, and the bowed roller will either come to a stop or perhaps turn slower than web speed. Here, bowed roller mode spreading is not possible. Only bent pipe spreading is, and that is an entirely different discussion. Here, we will just observe that it is a pretty expensive way to get bent pipe spreading and that you will quickly ruin the cover due to wear. The second case is less severe, but a similar combination of light webs and wrap angle coupled with a high bowed roller drag, but not enough to break it loose entirely. Here, the amount of available sideways spreading force is reduced. The third case is optimum. Here, a drive motor is provided and is properly tuned such that the drive torque precisely matches drag plus inertia as we covered in Web 101. Here, all of the traction is available to do spreading work. Finally, the fourth case is an improperly tuned drive that is common enough because most drive people don't have web handling training. Here, the motor overdrives and pulls on the web and causes a loss of spreading work because some traction is used just tugging on the web. In all cases of a mechanical drive slave to some other roller, the drive will be less than optimum, and quite probably worse than no drive at all, except in the extreme application cases such as tissue that must run in the bent pipe mode due to low, exceedingly light tensions and tractions. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video clips. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will show how trying to jam a bowed roller into a cramped space can make things worse than no spreader at all.